Have you ever thought of plastic surgery? Just curious about that. What I want to do is help somebody who's either older, look younger, without going under the knife, or just maybe help an image out a bit. Now, I've held off on the healing brush. I want to talk about the healing brush. Let's open up our happy couple here. I'm going to use the zoom tool. I'm going to get those guys a little bit bigger. Now, look at the wrinkles on his face. There's nothing there. Those are character lines. That's what we call them when we get older. Those are character lines, you know, around his face. He smiles a lot, obviously. I want to tone those down a little bit. I think it's too much. Now, here's the trick. I want you to come over into background. That's where they are. Create a copy of that layer with a Control-J. That's the one we're going to work on. So we're going to double-click on the word layer one, call it healing, as in healing brush. Now, over here is the healing brush. You have two of them. The first one is spot, and the other one is healing. Now, the healing brush does require that you select an area. The spot healing brush is the better one to use because it assumes what you want to heal it with is around the area you're trying to heal, and nine times out of ten, that's exactly what you want to do. The best one to use is content aware. Keep the content the same. We're not creating a texture on the face or a proximity match. So I come up here on the copy. I've got a small brush, not very big. And it's got a soft edge. And see this one line right here. If I run over that spot and let go, well, it's just about gone. Let's come down here, run a roll. Let's take out that one here. Come over here. Over here. Now, think about someone who's really old or just somebody who just has, you know, a lot of wrinkles. We're eliminating those wrinkles. But in doing so, I think we're doing something eventually. We're making this person look like they've had plastic surgery because it's just working so well. Up this way. A little more nip and tuck over here, sir, and you will be done. Oh, you got crow's feet? Oh, we can fix those too. Look at that. This guy's looking great. No, not really. If you really look, it's beginning to look phony. Because people, even babies, have wrinkles. Apparently she doesn't, but he does. It's okay. But if you keep looking at it, you'll probably notice the before and the after. And in this case, really, there's nothing wrong with those. Those aren't wrinkles. Those are character lines. I've already said that. What I like to do with the healing brush, and I think this is very important, it only has one speed, full speed ahead. It just rips an area and smooths it out. For wrinkles, that's not acceptable. For backgrounds, it is. Do this. In this layer, lower the opacity slightly. Now watch him as I lower the opacity. Now let me go all the way down. There's the original. No opacity. I'm going to bring it up slowly, and as I do, I leave the lines, but they lose their significance. I don't want to eliminate them completely. I just want to give them a little bit of a background look so they're not quite so dominant. When you're using the healing brush tool, the trick, in my opinion, for facial features is to create a layer, do all the work on that layer and then basically mute it or pull it back into the other one with opacity to create a much better look. That looks a lot better. Let's go ahead and close her out. Again, you don't have to save it. On to the next.